Hola, uh, me llamo es Malcolm Ian Cross de Slam City. Uh, saludos para Bisarma TV. En esos programas hacíamos la conversión, digámoslo así, de, de gráficos, de Spectrum, sobre todo, hacia, hacia los demás. Hacer un videojuego tiene una labor inicial de creativa, ¿eh? donde la idea es fundamental. Yo soy, yo era músico, pero a mí siempre me ha gustado mucho dibujar, ¿no? Eh, date cuenta que yo me he criado con los TVOs prácticamente de los kioscos. Eh, a, a mí como me gusta mucho el cine y una vez oigo podcast de, de videojuegos y oigo un montón de cine, y creo que 500 pesetas, dos días, tres euros, un par de días, o tres. Eh, ento entonces... Nos encontramos ante el Trinity College. Y aquí tenéis una carrilleta. Aquí la placa marca como 1020 metros de altura ya. Pues de aquí, Hola, esto, bienvenidos al espectáculo. Y como diría el mítico Andrés Montes, bienvenidos al club. No, aquí está currado todo al milímetro, al más puro estilo. Es la segunda parte de Outrun. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the FA Cup quarterfinal. It's York City against Manchester United. So let's go straight to the ground. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. For the FA Cup, we are now getting closer to that big occasion, that global occasion, the final itself. But we are at the quarterfinal stage, and these teams will be thinking, win this, and this could be our year. Yeah, no matter what you say, there's still a special magic attached to this competition, and uh, the quarterfinals remain a huge game for anyone. York City, they're looking for another victory today to add on to their recent away win against Sheffield United. Yeah, I mean, it was a decent 1 0 victory didn't uh, concede too many chances but for some reason I can't see them repeating it I think they'll lose here this is the home team lineup Is then the Manchester United lineup. Up the quarter final stage, and here we go. Yeah, we've seen some wonderful ties down the years in this competition. This one could be pretty similar. Mark Hornship, Summerfield, Hampshire. Got to be keeper, really stretched, and he's made a fine diving save. Keeps it going. In with the chance. Wonderful save. Corner coming up. And hits it, and that's another goal. 
from a player that they brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. That goal really takes your breath away. Well, the keeper's pulled off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of his defenders. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. left that to the goalkeeper, proper thing to do. They had it for a long time now, they've lost it. And the tackler has been very successful there, he's got possession. It's a very good skill. He's made the defender look a bit awkward there. And he's got the ball well to set his team on the front foot by intercepting. Powell attacking now. Tackle goes in. Raphael. And uh, Herrera. Throw in now. Fellaini. And the shot's on! The goalkeeper not needed because they've stopped the shot. Manchester United have this corner and a chance to hit back. Well, that shows a lot of ability, not to say confidence, to stroke it into the bottom left from there. Good for Manchester United to this point. The manager is letting the players know he's not happy, and I'm sure that will provoke a response. And they will have to face that at half time as well. Can turn it round at the moment, doesn't look likely. Well, those possession stats in favour of Manchester United, but what matters is the score live. Yeah. But you look at the number of chances created, and they've had enough to be ahead in this match. Dangerous moment. Place in the semi final not yet guaranteed, not by any means, but. You'd rather be in their position than in the opposition's position. Yeah, and I think they'll be expecting better, a fight back from the opposition in the second half. They've got to be wary of that. Well, this could be the halfway point in the cup tie, and we've got one team leading and a chance of progressing in this tournament. Well, the trailing team, I think, just got to pick themselves up during the half-time break and come out and produce a little bit better. Here we go, Alan, for the second half of this FA Cup quarter-final. Yeah, one or two players I don't think lived up to the billing, certainly didn't live up to the hype going into this match. Oh, 
Jamshik. Doyer. Anderson here. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? A substitution. And it's Manchester United to make it. Good, clean tackle. And here comes an attack from Manchester United. Ah, oh, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. time of the game where the strikers get taken off whether they played well or not Alan it's just a fact of life I wouldn't want to be a forward these days and perhaps you wouldn't want to be either um, anyway he's off and he, he hasn't played very well in truth has he no the defenders have had him in their pockets because uh, his movement's not been good enough certainly he's lacked pace today I don't know what's the matter with him Summerfield Cross. Good defensive play here. Manchester United moving into the attack. Manchester United having to force the play here. It looks like the opposition is in for an aerial bombardment here. Judging by the way, the centre halves are going forward. Enjoy it. Great opportunity. Got to be. It might be. Oh, poor chap, it's an own goal. Well, it comes with the territory, doesn't it, when you're in that kind of position. And here's the goal again. Strange moment, a freakish moment, really. That own goal. Hamshik. Raphael. Hamshik. Manchester United's change about to take place. And the defender has coped well with that cross. And do it. Confident and quality on the ball. Yeah, he's gone too early. He's offside. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Summerfield. Substitute coming on for Manchester United. Counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. Referee helped them here because now they can cross the ball. Great play from the attacker. Manchester United pull another rabbit out of the hat here. This could be it. Here's the chance. Oh, the goalkeeper saved it. Well, and those one-on-one -on -one situations, it's difficult for both parties, but came out on top there. It is a change that's going to take place now for this team. It's one of the attacking midfielders who's coming off. And in that sense, in that part of the team, 
it's been poor. Yeah, he normally gets himself forward, offers a threat, gets past the strikers to ask questions of the defenders. He's done none of that today. free kick late in the game now well here we are looking at the fans we're looking on in unbridled joy yeah and uh, I think you've got to appreciate these matches because they don't come along all too often Great the feeling for them. Well, they can almost smell that final now, can't they? Look at the look on the faces. They are delighted. So it's full time with a final score 2-0. I'll leave you the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.